Hi everyone, I'm here today with a tutorial and a share and a review of Arteza's woodless watercolor pencils. I love drawing with colored pencils, so I was really excited to see what I could do with watercolor pencils. And, uh, and these are woodless, which was a whole new adventure into, into using these. So the good people at Arteza was nice enough to send me a pack of 24 and uh, I'm going to open these up and let's see what we've got. So I've just broken open the packages of these. I have not used them before, so we're exploring this together. Um, they are woodless watercolor pencils. So basically everything, aside from the coating on the very outside, which it's not plastic, but it's, it's a smooth, uh, it's pretty comfortable actually. It's, it's, they're round, they're not ridged like, like graphite pencils are. Um, and this whole thing is the watercolor. So I need to sharpen a tip on it and uh, I went looking for a pencil sharpener this morning and all I could come up with was this guy. So I literally, let's see which setting. Just like we used to use in school, right? Oh wow, look at the tip on that. That's nice. Yeah, we'll be able to get in corners. So let me sharpen a few of these up and uh, we can start and make some quick color swatches and see how this color works. And then I have a fabulous public domain image that I've printed out and blown up uh, that we can see what we can do um, watercolor wise with it. So let me get these sharpened and uh, I'll be right back. So I've sharpened up the pencils and they all have a pretty good tip on it. And what I'd like to do now is just a little bit of experimenting with, uh, with how these colors are going to go on the page and, and how they blend. So this is not watercolor paper and I'm specifically not using watercolor paper because typically when I work on junk journals and I imagine a lot of you out there who are from the junk journal genre uh, interested in these art supplies, you don't, you use cardstock um, if you're not using regular printer paper. So this is just bright white cardstock so you can see the effect on, on this paper. And I'm pressing down with the side of the tip and then just going lighter and lighter. It actually goes on almost like a fine crayon, which empowers me to want to try more things um, because I, since kindergarten, have been a wonderful crayonist. And I imagine a lot of you have as well. So I've got my paper towel and water, and this is just a watercolor brush. And uh, I'm just gonna get that wet and then use this to dab and we're going to start from the light side to work in because if we start on the dark side it's just going to pull and, and puddle everything but if you start with the wet on the light side and kind of go up in little circles it gets a really nice gradient wow that's nice I like how that goes on Let's try, let's try some green. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have fun with these. Really, there's almost no water on this brush at all. Wow, look at that. So 
so I think what I'll do is maybe take um, a blank sheet of cardstock and do a small swatch of each so I have a cheat sheet, a color code, um, and there really are quite a few varieties of colors for only having 24 in this pack. So let me do that and uh, and I'll be back and I'll show you what it is that I like to use these to, um, to color first and show you what you might be able to do in terms of some turning some black and white ephemera and old book illustrations and such into colored things to use in your journals. So I have taken all the colors except for this loud pink and white and I have just colored dark to light in a swath of each on this page. Well I finished my cheat sheet, my palette here, and I kind of have an idea of what colors will uh, light and dark end up looking like something on the page that I'm, I can use as a guide. This is my favorite black and white uh, public domain image. It's usually referred to as the Flammarion engraving. Um, Flammarion, Camille Flammarion was a astronomer and he published a book in 1888 and this uncredited picture was in it. Um, most most references to it call it a wood engraving. It's actually, uh, according to Wikipedia, it was not a wood engraving as such, but at any rate, this is the Flammarion uh, image and, and I love this. Public domain, so one of the reasons I have never incorporated this into any of my digi kits that I offer uh, on Etsy is because it's black and white. I have no way to trace back the color versions of this that are on the internet. So in theory, if I could color this well, I could reduce it in size, you know, to journaling card size and, and be able to offer it in my shop. Typically a lot of, uh, a lot of ephemera I could do that with that's just black and white and, uh, that would be a neat thing to be able to do. So let's see how this goes on. I've got a purple here and I'm gonna go pretty dark right onto the top of this page. I've printed this on a laser printer so the ink is not gonna smudge when I get it wet. And uh, And I've printed it right onto cardstock. As I said, I want to be able to I want to be able to work on paper that we typically all use in our junk journals. Uh, most of us don't have watercolor paper hanging around to create ephemera with, and my goal is to not recreate the wheel, so to speak, but rather to uh, to work with things that we already work with. While incorporating some of these neat things like these water, these watercolor pencils and, and pens into it. So I'm going darker at the top. Just tell me what's on your mind Cause I don't have time to figure it out Figure it out We 
haven't been our best for love I think that we're just holding on to something that won't work out Maybe we should walk away to say goodbye and go a separate ways
scared of heights I'm in the spotlight, not until midnight. I want somebody to hold my hand. Cause I got my head in the clouds, but I'm getting really scared of heights. I used to spend time with all my friends, but who's gonna like me if I'm not there? Cause I got my head in the clouds, but I'm getting really scared of heights.
go around with with these woodless watercolor pencils and I am loving them. They are so easy to work with and the effects are great. I can't even imagine what we're going to be able to create with these. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my show and tell today. I've enjoyed sharing this. Thank you to the people at Arteza for sending me these wonderful supplies to try and uh, I would definitely recommend them. I am an Arteza affiliate uh, and there are affiliate links at no extra cost to you and coupons um, below this video if you would like to buy these. I will also put my affiliate links to Amazon where Arteza sells these depending upon what quantities you get you might want to shop and compare the different uh, the different deals that they have but absolutely wonderful to work with and uh, I would completely recommend it and thank you for giving me the opportunity Arteza to share this with my junk journal and uh, and and planner communities this was really a lot of fun thanks so much um, I will be back soon with another video and everyone have a good day.